In this episode of Car and Driver Abroad, we visit Koenigsegg in Sweden and drive their Agera R to the limit on the racetrack and on their own private runway. With 1140 horsepower and a top speed of around 270 miles an hour, this might just be the fastest supercar in the world. Nothing captures the imagination like top speed, and when Andy Wallace hit 242.95 miles an hour in the McLaren F1, the world wondered if a road car would ever go faster. Most said not, but that didn't stop people trying. Koenigsegg, a tiny Swedish manufacturer, went to Nardo, a 7.8 mile high speed bowl in southern Italy in 2005, and they came very close to beating the McLaren, achieving 241.1 miles an hour, despite running on a constant bank turn. There's no question on the flat the CCR would have a new outright record. Then the Bugatti Veyron changed the game, clocking 253.8 miles an hour but it was heroically surpassed by the SSC Ultimate Aero on a closed road in Washington State. Driver Chuck Bigelow was 71 at the time and reached 256.18 miles an hour. In 2010, Bugatti was back at the top of the tree, the new Supersport recording 267.85 with Testa Pierre-Henri Raffinelle. It is an astonishing speed, but one day something will go faster still. Maybe it will be this, the Koenigsegg Agera R, a low, wide, but relatively small supercar, not much longer than the tiny McLaren F1. It's got an incredibly stiff carbon fibre tub and an all-up weight of 1,430 kilos, or 3,163 pounds. It is a spectacular piece of sculpture. Its 5-litre twin-turbocharged V8 can trace its roots back to a Ford racing engine, but is in reality entirely new with its own incredibly strong block, internals and ancillaries. On regular petrol it runs 960 horsepower, and if you can find E85 bioethanol, which is widespread in parts of Europe, that output jumps to 1140 horsepower and 885 pounds foot of torque. The Agera R is $1.45 million plus taxes, but then you do get the coolest doors on planet Earth. The numbers don't lie, and 1140 horsepower pushing not much more than £3,000 makes for pretty crazy performance. In an independent test for the Guinness Book of Records, the Agera R clocked 0 to 100 in 5.3 seconds, which is just a shade behind the Veyron Supersport. But then the Agera R really opens its lungs, hitting 200 in 17.7 seconds. That's four and a half seconds quicker than the Veyron Supersport. It might be a straight line hero then, but Car and Driver Abroad loves corners. So when Koenigsegg said we could drive the Agera R on a racetrack nearby to their factory, we just had to say yes. So the Koenigsegg Agera R, Another pretender to the Bugatti Veyron Supersport's top speed record. Another contender that you might not have heard of and you might think won't be here at all next year. But actually this is a pretty credible car. This car's predecessor, the CCR, held the top speed record at 388 kilometers, about 242 miles an hour back in 2005. This thing, with all its power, they reckon would do roughly 273 miles an hour. But before we just find out what it's like in a straight line, we want to try it on a circuit because Koenigseggs have got a reputation of being almost undrivable after that famous top gear clip where the Stig spun it off into a field. This is the most powerful car they've ever built. So we're going to find out whether they've tamed the cars or whether that was just a load of rubbish anyway. It is initially pretty intimidating. It's so loud in here. That V8 
it's bolted directly to the chassis and you can feel it, it comes up through your stomach. It just sounds angry. But actually, the chassis immediately feels quite manageable. The steering response is really nice. The steering's quite heavy, but it doesn't dart around. I don't know, there feels like there's some real stability in this car. The gear change is a single clutch box, seven speed unit, and it's very, very good. As good as the Bagani box, the wire are definitely. Shift is quick, and there's so much noise and so much drama going on in this car that you don't mind that interruption anyway. It sort of just adds to it. It's just a massive assault on your senses. It's a mad, mad thing. similar performance, this might be quicker, it might eventually go faster, but the character of the car is so different. This thing is so much more exciting. It's not a car that you would probably drive as often as the Veyron as far, it's just so noisy and so physical. I love it. It's, it's Woo! So that's the Agera R on a track. We survived narrowly. Actually it's not it's not the killer that the reputation suggests. It's just got so much power so you always have to be mindful of what you're unleashing when you open the throttle. But having said all of that, we can't come to Sweden, drive this car and not drive it on a runway and try and feel what 0 to 200 miles an hour in 17 seconds feels like. So we're away from the confines of that tiny little racetrack which was great fun and showed some remarkable qualities in this car that we probably didn't expect. But now we're on a runway, this is Koenigsegg's own runway which sort of tells you all you need to know about this car. We're gonna find out now what a thousand plus horsepower feels like when you've just got a place where you can rip to the limiter in every gear. So, first gear, traction control off. Let's see what the traction's like. Let's go for it. really I can't believe the traction this thing's got that sense that this is a properly engineered car it's really felt through the stability of this thing at speed under acceleration and when you're really flying along at 180 plus rock solid really really good even better than brakes carbon ceramics absolutely monster things and it just stands it on its nose but there's no fight, the car doesn't jig around, it's just bang, dead straight, stops beautifully. Must be a large part of that 0-300 to 0 record. It's just 
just that the brakes are unbelievably strong. Yeah, there's just attention to detail in this car that I didn't expect. Even the steering is quite heavy, but it just responds really nicely. Everything feels really in tune with everything else. Even here on this straight line where you can't find out too much, there's a depth to this car, a real depth to it. It's a really properly sorted supercar. So the Agera R might just be the fastest production car in the world, and maybe one day it will do 270 miles an hour or more, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is that this is a uniquely savage supercar, more fearsome than a Bugatti, more brutal than a Bugatti, but still drivable and even exploitable with care and some practice. One thing's for sure, this is a total original, extreme, wild, and seriously wonderful. Koenigsegg, I salute you.